Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the Band Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's now in Savinio in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to download and install Saga on your QGIS. Now, in more recent versions of QGIS, Saga does not um, come with the installation, so you have to install it separately. However, in our own QGIS, we have done it, so you can see Saga here. So if you come to the toolbox and then you search for Saga, you can see the result is out. However, if you can't find Saga here, the first thing you need to do is to come to your plugins and then you go to manage and install plugins. Now under your plugins, you search for Saga. Now it's now called um, Processing Saga Next Gen Provider. So the latest version is um, 9.1. So you click on install right go to install this plugin so we already have it so we can just decide to reinstall or uninstall so you just select them install when you've installed it you now come to your browser so you search for saga gis or maybe saga qgis as the case may be now we are going to download from sourceforge right good so you see saga which is a um, system for automated geoscientific analysis so we click on download good now when we get to this window where we can download the saga gis we click on download right good so you can see one download in progress so when it has been downloaded we are going to do what extract it good so we already have what the saga file downloaded it's a zip file we right click and then we extract it here so upon extracting you can open the folder to see some other files that are inside this folder so what we are going to do now is that in qgis we are going to link this particular um, folder to the provider so how do we do that first off you can copy it and then move it to your c drive or maybe your document or anywhere you want it to be so we have actually moved it to our c drive so you can see the saga folder inside our c drive right good so what we now want to do is that we come back to qgis we go to settings we come to options then under options we go to providers and then in as much as you have installed the plugin you would see the saga here right good then you come to the folder then from the folder you click on this word three dot and then you browse so as we told you we have our own in our c drive so you can now see what the saga folder so it will be selected and then you now say select folder when you do that you have actually linked that downloaded file to what the saga folder and then you click on ok so when you are done with that it has been installed successfully you come to your processing toolbox and then you are going to see what saga are or perhaps what you search for it so when you search for it you are going to see the different tools that um, you can see under the geoscientific analysis tool right good so with this you have successfully installed saga on your qgis and then you can use it for any other operation that requires what you to use saga so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular um, gis problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye